if you're not up on what I do, uh, these are pretty much, uh, I guess you could say, prototypical uh, characters. They're semi-fictional, but they are based on, uh, on real people. And uh, I get, uh, I work from sources, and you know, it's not that I don't just dream them up, although sometimes I do. Uh, and uh, one of my favorite uh, sources is the obituaries from the local paper. You know, so every day I go through the obituaries, and I can use that. You know, so I clip it, <laughs> and I have a big album of these uh, of these uh, uh, pictures. It's my, my source book, and so I'm not hurting for uh, for material. There is though something that I am always coming back to, and this is the guy with sunglasses and. There's a distinction, I think, I think a distinction that I can make between this guy right here and the other one over there is that this one is sort of like a genre within a series of works because it's become the guy with sunglasses, a lot of sunglasses. And I do many versions of, of, of that guy because when I was in high school in the 60s, uh, you were cool. You, know, you dressed like that, and so it was my idea of cool, and, and and so I keep going back to that. And it's always a variation on the same thing, but there's always uh, they're never the same. I mean, in the end, they are never the same, and and uh, so I enjoy uh, going back to them. Now, the distinction that I want to make with the other one over there in the corner, that one in the corner is. Uh, one of the first versions that I did of that big uh, blue painting over there is the same character. And it is actually based on a real person who wanted a, a portrait and, uh, of himself. And it, doing, doing actual portraits is a totally different uh, discipline uh, uh, than, than from how I do these. And, but it had been on my agenda, and, but I ordered, or, uh, I said no originally, but then I started thinking about it. Well, I could do it, you know. I mean, what's the matter? <laughs> you need the money, so uh, so I said, okay, I'll do it. I said, but I'm going to work from a photograph, and uh, and and I did. I took a photograph of him, and uh, and then I put it in the computer. Uh, and by the way, everything in this show goes through the computer. Uh, there's models for for everything, and some like in the work that is that has these signs on it. Those are computer designed uh, uh, that, that I then uh, translate into, into these other things. But anyway, I put his picture in the computer to, to compose it into the portrait that I was going to do of him. And, uh, and I decided that, I, that his ears were very distinctive, but you could hardly see him. Uh, so I changed, made him bigger and made him stick out more. And, and I did that other very subtle things to his face uh, before I actually started the portrait, uh, before I you know, projected it and traced it and then started painting it. That's where the hand of the artist comes in. The, the person uh, was very satisfied with the portrait. And he said, it looks just like me. Uh, and I said, well, <laughs> uh, I was thinking, it looks more like you than you do. <laughs> 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 but, but, but that, is, uh, that is what an artist does, you know. Uh, to me, the real thing has never been good enough. If I were to actually, if I had a picture of Pachuco and I tried to paint it and I have tried, the result is very, like, not there, you know, it's very, very blah. Uh, so I have to alter things and exaggerate and emphasize, and that is how these characters take on a life of themselves, and, or a, a life of their own, and... Uh, uh, and that is how I know when a, when a, when a successful piece is, uh, is finished. Uh, it takes on a life of its own, and, and, and that's it. And I move on to, uh, uh, to other things.